review the uh, worksheets that I gave you for Lab Zero. Now, uh, if you need to find them, go to Content. All right, and if you go down to Labs, you should see Lab Zero. All right, click on that, and here are the worksheets. So I'm going to do worksheet one here, or I'm going to review it with you, give you some of the answers, but uh, you're going to actually have to complete it and turn it in. Okay, so here is the worksheet, and as you can see, it's asking you to find the complement. So we have 1 to 21 letters here. These are DNA, uh, the uh, four bases, A, G, C, and T, and the complement is simply the strand that would be on the other side of the double strand, uh, double helix. So DNA is double stranded and one strand you have. The other strand, which you need to place in the dashed lines here, um, please do this by hand, uh, but you have a, a C, it's complementary, all right, to G. T is complementary to A. A is complementary to T. In other words, wherever you see a T, replace it with an A down here. Wherever you see an A, replace it with a T. Wherever you see a C, replace it with a G. And then wherever you see a G right here, replace that with a C. So it's A and T, those are the two that are across from each other. And C and G, those are the two that are across from each other. So here it's a C, this would be a G, T, A, A, T. So just do that one, that's easy. That will find the complement. Now we scroll down here to RNA. Now RNA is just like DNA, except for you place replace the T's with U's. So this is DNA, and we're gonna make a copy of the DNA. But this copy is a little different in that this RNA isn't going to become double-stranded like this. In other words, when you make double-stranded DNA and you, you create a complement, that's usually during uh, the time when the cell is replicating. So you're only going to be copying DNA like you would, like we did here when the cell is about to divide, about to, to replicate itself. It needs to copy its DNA. Now down here though, all the time uh, in the cell, you'll be doing this process, which is transcription, which is making RNA. So the RNA is similar, but it's going to stay single-stranded. So when you make a strand down here of this RNA stuff, it will float off as a single strand to do something in the cell, which we are going to talk about here in a second. But you do it just like here. In other words, this strand that we're going to make called RNA is almost identical to the DNA up here, except for wherever you would have put a T, you put a U. That is it. Uracil replaces thymine. So here it would be A, T. Here it's going to be A, U. Otherwise, everything is the same. So these two are going to be almost identical. Just wherever you put a T up here, you're going to put a U down here. So two easy questions there. Just handwrite them right there. Now you're going to compare and contrast the two and it says what are the biological implications and I kind of gave you a hint just then. When you copy DNA you are doing replication. That's when the cell is about to divide. Whenever you're doing RNA you're creating a copy that is going to be used for something and that thing that are going to be it's going to be used for is to make a protein. These are the instructions the RNA are the instructions for making a protein. The proteins do all of the work. So differences are similarly caused DNA polymerase and RNA polymerase. So you need to know polymerase is a copy machine. It's a protein or a set of proteins that work together to copy the DNA. Well if you have DNA polymerase it's copying it for replication. If you have RNA polymerase, it's copying it so that you can make proteins to do something inside the cell, do something chemically or structurally, maybe grow or uh, make more membrane or do something like that. Proteins do all the work in the cell. All right, so keep that in mind. They do the chemical work inside the cell. Now, what is the position of the three nucleotides that make up the start codon? Well, you have to read a little, but a start codon is, and let's go actually look at something called the genetic code here, and I have one right here. The start codon is this. It's this red one here, and I have this picture on um, uh, loaded under 
let's see, it's under references on the website, and I'll look at it here before we close down. But AUG is met methionine, and methionine will always be the first amino acid in your protein. So the instructions for making the protein are here. These are the ingredients that you can mix up to make your protein. These are amino acids. Phenylalanine, leucine, leucine, isoleucine, methionine, valine. You don't have to know those names, just got to have the three letter symbol here. Now there are also the start codon. This is always the first one. It can occur again, but it has, it's the only one that you can start off a protein with. So keep that in mind. These are the stops, and the stops say stop working, stop making uh, protein. So the, these are the instructions for making proteins, and you'll notice use. So that's in the RNA. So we just talked about RNA. Um, so we have, we're going to have this RNA here, and what I'm asking you for is that AUG that is the start codon there's only one so you're looking through here to find an AUG well this is DNA where would we find an AUG well it's going to be something that starts with an an A here so what does that mean it's going to be wherever there's a T so that means there would be an A here and then A that's U C that's G ah there's our start codon so your answer here is two right here three and four because an AUG appears in the RNA. So once you do this, you'll see that AUG occurs here and that's the first one that you see along here. You may see others, but you read these three at a time once you find a start codon. So I'm gonna read these one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, and basically you will continue reading them unless you find something called a stop. And I will tell you right now, as it is, there is no stop. So you would read these three, followed by these three. So you skip the first one. The first one is not read. So it's AUG uh, here. And then whatever this would be, let's see, that's CGU. Uh, All right, so you would go back to our genetic code and find out what CGU is. Let's see, what is CGU? Just to do it for you. Here's C. GU looks like it's arginine, um, so CGU. If that's if that actually is what uh, what we find here, so let's see CGU. Yeah, so ARG would be the next amino acid on this list. All right, um, there is not a stop codon. So what would uh, what would you have to do to get one? This is asking you if you had a, a single nucleotide change, a mutation in this list. What where could you put a stop code on? And there's a hint here as to where that would be because the answer has two amino acids. You know this one's methionine, you know this one is arginine, so it must be the next three that you can mutate. Okay, that's a hint there. All right, now if you don't mutate it, it just goes to the end. So just go ahead and find all of the amino acids towards the end. All right, there is a mutation between C at three and four. So if I go up here to three and four and I had a mutation, um, what would happen? So you need to tell me what would happen and uh, maybe what would uh, what would the new amino acid sequence be? Because you're gonna push the sequence down and it's going to change something we call the reading frame because you've changed the letters. So I, if you can figure out what's going on here, once you create a new DNA sequence by adding a C, so if I add a C right here, What's that going to do? Notice it says 22 here, not 21 anymore. So I'm just adding you to, asking you to add a C between 3 and 4. I want to know what the new amino acid would be. Um, what would happen if you had had anything besides a C? So see if you can figure that out. All right, and you can ignore 9. We didn't cover it. So do not worry about number 9. Just do 1 through 8. I think you can do this. Uh, not super easy. Uh, you'll have to read and try and figure out what's going on here. But, uh, you know, the, I will grade it easy since, it, you know, it's pretty much our first lab. But I gave you some answers here on the first part. You should be good.